safety may be more than some wish to be exposed to, and those people should be forewarned. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between to another frightening night of Scared and Alone. I'm your host, Dean Haglin, and again, we are live, and this is the only live interactive paranormal investigation happening in the world right now. As always, we have assembled our team from across the continent, starting with Louisiana, New Orleans, our very own Spectral Bob Ross, uh, the gentleman psychic, it's Richard Lil Lillard. Richard Lil, how are you, sir? I am well. How are you, my friend? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. I see you have a canvas already prepped. We Talents do and have it prepped. A I love, I'm going to tell you, I love theaters because anytime that you have intense emotions, mm -hmm. the space is haunted. Wow. And it can be theaters, it can be synagogues, it can be churches, it can be mosques, it can even be, it can even be slaughterhouses. <laughs> slaughterhouse? No. Wow. There's, there's a space in Los Angeles where it became a filming location. And I'm telling you, it, it had been, it was, it was defunct. It was no longer, that place was haunted. Wow. Fantastic. So anywhere yeah. there's a human emotion, there's, there's a haunt. I should mention we're coming to the Alley Theater back in Middleborough, Massachusetts, the most haunted town we've ever visited, I must say. And uh, we'll be uh, visiting that very soon. Of course, joining us again from Hollywood, California, it is uh, the good witch, Patty Negri, ladies and gentlemen. Patty, how are you? I am great. I am so happy to be here. I do not know this location at all. I did not look it up, so I'm going in blind the way I like it. Um, I'm excited to work with all of you and bring Tim in. I am going to sneak away, though, in about 45 minutes because I'm going um, on Andrea Perrin's show. So I'm leaving you, but I will be back again. You are a busy, busy person. You are in demand, as they say in the paranormal world. So we thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> and over from New York, it is from the Black Cat, the Black Cat Lounge. It is Tim Shaw, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Tim? You know, Dean, it is always an honor and a privilege to hang out with such esteemed cohorts. Oh, I God. haven't had this, I haven't had this type of people since I got out of jail to hang out with. So you know, this is this Wait. is a great thing. <laughs> okay, the first time I heard you got out of jail. Perhaps that is another podcast we have to listen to. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Listen, <laughs> and, listen, uh, it was disco. Okay, it was disco. I blame everything on disco. <laughs> well, let us not dwell on that, but we're glad you're here and uh, looking forward to you uh, adding to the show. And, of course, the bravest person in uh, paranormal investigation by herself in the Alley Theater. It is our very own ghost bait. It's Courtney Buckley, ladies and gentlemen. How are you, Courtney? Well, Dean, there's I'm not technically by myself. And what? someone's getting very upset with you that you continue to not introduce her as well. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on. I'm not into uh, what I, I even forgot her name. It's Rosie. Rosie. Could you just put sunglasses on those button Jeez. eyes? The creepy button eyes. You know I have a thing about buttons and That's eyes. That's why now. So Okay. <laughs> so Rosie's with you. She's yeah. technically a uh air quotes protector or something. That's, yeah. She is a ghost um doll which is someone made which I think is very beautiful and a lot of love was poured into her and her little tag that she came with read that she likes to haunt dark hallways and my whole house is a dark hallway. So I believe that she, I needed her. And so because I needed her, I feel like she is my protector. And our first episode of this season for the whole day beforehand, I felt like I had to bring her, she needed mm -hmm. to come. And then I saw your reaction to her 
and I think back every time of all the crazy things that you make me do. So I think to myself, Dean would miss her if I didn't bring her. So hey, 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 pause there. I made you do? No, no, no. It's the team. <laughs> there, you... there's been. I have only been the host. I never said uh, do crazy things, Courtney. You're I the host. Did... Of the show and you let it happen. So <laughs> you're guilty by default. Uh, well, I'll take that, but <laughs> damn you and that button eye doll of yours. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, there is an actual uh, 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 phobia about buttons. I forget what it's called. Uh, 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 pass. Uh, joining us, of course, from a vehicle. Uh, <laughs> yes. Hi, it is Nikos. Uh, let me see if I got this uh, Loki Gunani. Gunani. <laughs> You know what? That was a really good shot. That was a really damn it. I worked in a Greek restaurant. I was thinking <laughs> it's actually Kutsianis. It does definitely son of a gun. I was so close. But yeah, no, that's the, you know what you were close. You were close. I'll give you that. Thank you, Nico. I appreciate that. <laughs> you are, of course, the bartender at this uh theater. At Black Salt. Well, no, so okay, so I'm a I'm actually at work. Currently, I'm a bartender at Black Salt from Swansea, Massachusetts. Oh, uh, so shout out to Black Salt. Um, but no, I'm actually a teacher there um, and a performer at uh, the Alley Theater. Oh, fantastic. You're a teacher. What are you teaching, Nikos? Oh my gosh, I teach dance, I teach singing, I teach acting, and I'm also the drag queen Rose Quartz. And I Rose uh, I, Quartz, I, I, fantastic, <laughs> aka Rose Quartz. With us here. So, Come on, everyone. I love it. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, Nikos, you work there late at night then. So, I'm sure you've seen things at this. Oh, I, yes. Actually, I haven't even, I've seen things at night, but I have seen things during the day. What? Oh, oh. So, it's not just the scary bumps in the night. My, most of my things have happened during the day, believe it or not. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We like this, which is crazy, but it's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. And how long have you been working at the Alley Theater? Uh, this is my second year there. Oh, fantastic. And so yeah. the Alley Theater in Middleborough, Massachusetts, of course, uh, yeah. uh, rebuilt over a series of other buildings, uh, historically, uh, going back to, into the 1820s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, do you know a lot about the history of this place? I don't know a ton about the history. Um only because I just like I said I, this is only my second year there which is mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing um but it is one of those buildings that is just like you step foot into that building Courtney I'm pretty sure you can agree with me because you're there right now and you just feel there there's a lot going on uh, <laughs> I, step, I step foot into this building with Lorna and I immediately saw a shadow run into a, a... yeah that wow. happens that happens yeah. that tends to happen I'll tell you that so wow so Nikos yeah. will be coming to you from time to time to uh, uh, calibrate what we're experiencing and what we're seeing at that okay. time. And so Courtney, why don't you explain where you are in right now? Wait, before I do that though, can I do the- um... Oh yes, the t-shirt giveaway from last week's show. So our mystery control moment here that we're yeah. gonna have, um, I'm gonna preface this by saying that there was a comment which immediately jumped out. We had to give it to this person um, because the Weymouth historian that we had asked us afterwards who in the chat said Roger. And the reason for that was because a man named Roger hung himself uh, from a jail door in 1963, what? which wasn't mentioned dirt on the show at all and was not, not at all me until after. So Tabitha Meadows wins the comment contest because she said she kept hearing while I was in the jail cell area, she kept hearing Roger, Roger. Wow. And Tabitha is a regular uh, contributor. And I should mention this is a live interactive investigation. All of you watching right now are part of this investigation. So Tabitha and many of other are, uh, are uh, uh, viewers, shall I say, are uh, participating right now in this uh, paranormal investigation. So Tabitha, congratulations. I should also put the disclaimer out that we are investigating paranormal phenomena that has an electrical phenomena, shall we say? So perhaps 
your monitors will flicker, your lights will go on and off, your air conditioning will kick on in the middle, your robot vacuum will start vacuuming for no reason, and also flies. How many flies? Go back two episodes. Tim, stop laughing. There were flies all over the studio of mine, dead after suddenly, like, it was Amityville horror. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> you're in the haunted place i'm in michigan for crying out loud there should be no paranormal phenomena in this place and yet every show i do something weird happens to be tim don't give me the the shrug i know, <laughs> you know as well i as i do electrical emt phenomena uh, can transverse through the internet somehow. Yes it, yes, it can. And on top of it, Dean, let's just remember one thing. What? One of the old adages within the spiritual religion is like attracts like. So oh. guess what? As, you're, as you're, you're delving into the mysteries of the paranormal on every show, as you're being an active participant, regardless if you're there on location or not, you may be generating this aura that paranormal activity is coming to you remember that right am i right guys well <laughs> well you know what that makes me tense already and I'm, we're not even beginning the investigation i'm sorry i don't know as i as i said i'm questioning my life choices of what, <laughs> hosting the show i'm so uh whatever See, after that yeah. basketball rolled at me last week i, I know no sympathy for the flies anymore zero <laughs> And then and the cord flying back and forth. I get it. I get it. You, you Trump, because Courtney, you are the bravest person. You are alone in this theater. Uh, Look at the comment. There's a the fly shadow behind you. Who the Paul? What? I don't want to hear any. No. 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 Let us begin. Uh, Our, Courtney, explain to us where you are. I am in the theater, which is. Uh, you know, I'm a th I was a theater kid growing up. <clears throat> I was theater did theater in high school. I did one semester at Salem State in the theater program. Okay. So I usually feel very at home in the theater, and this is a beautiful one. But the whole time I've been sitting in here, I've been plagued with noises, and I've been seeing shadows from down the hall, and all the lights are on. And I just just now walked into what feels like a cold spot. Wow. So yes. in this theater, it, these seats all seem random, like uh, just uh, folding chairs. Well, there uh, it looks like there's like tables in the middle, like they're kind of cl clustered around tables. Okay. So that seems fun. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the Alley Theater in Middleborough, Massachusetts. Uh, Nikos, is this uh, originally not a, a performance space? Was this something else and this became a theater? Um, I'm actually not quite sure. as far as I was concerned, like it's been a few things and I know that the basement has been, the basement was actually a bowling alley at one oh. point, which is very different. Um, and I know that there's some sort of like, um, like old sort of soldier situation, like hangout that it used to be. Um, yeah. So, um, Yeah. <laughs> okay thank you Nico, for that up so the basement's below you but right now this theater seems to only seat like maybe what 100 120 yeah right yeah oh yeah and it's like yeah i'm like in the middle you're in the middle yeah. of it so yeah so there's that opening oh yeah so lorna is saying um in the comments that the upstairs was a pool hall that's what it was so there a was a hall. lot of, yeah, so this used to be like a hangout where people would like come in and um, yeah, it's, 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 it's kind of crazy. I see. And so over the years, there's been several businesses. So how old is this, biz, uh, the building itself? Oh, it, it was going 110 years old. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So Courtney, what are you yeah. experiencing? Uh, it's, a, it's, it's very active in here. Okay. Like I don't. I don't feel anything bad, but I'm terrified because I'm alone. Yes. And 
so much like there's been i was just trying to like sit and mind my own business and i couldn't get like we we tested the wi-fi earlier and i was too afraid to get off of the call because <laughs> i had gone down in the basement and i was like oh my god it's so much <laughs> there's just so much oh, no yeah. so, oh, no oh, no and that's a mirror behind you there's mirrors everywhere dean it's a it's a studio it's like a, a theater with a studio it's just everywhere i turn i see myself or I see yeah. something and it's just mirrors, mirrors everywhere. Oh my gosh. And, and, and hey, great. what are you seeing? No, I'm just saying, and do notice the chat room where somebody said it is too light in there, Courtney. <laughs> Patty, that's your go-to. I'm sorry. You cannot just say turn off the lights in every room. That's I can. So you want to know, you want to know the funniest thing is yes, when, when we close out, like when I have to like close out the theater, at, like when I'm by myself, like if I'm rehearsing or whatever, mm -hmm. you have to shut all the lights off. And then I'm running out the back door. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm telling you, there's been some, like, it's crazy. Like, it's very active in there. So, wait. So, so you turn off the lights and you, you run for it. Oh, I put on my phone flashlight and I run for that back door. <laughs> I'm like, Run! <laughs> I lived, when I was down in the basement, I said to our producers, Rob and Christine, I was like, this is great. I've gone far enough. I'm going to like, I feel like something's going to come play with me and like, come follow me up the stage. Like, I just don't need, I'm just going to walk very slowly. So nothing chases me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Courtney, do you want to shut off any lights? I mean, I knew this was coming. So I guess I, let me just <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm reading all the lights. Um, where's the light switch? Glory. All right, so the light switch, if, if you go back through the lobby, Courtney. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, so if you go back through the lobby. Yep. And then you go into, like, the backstage green room. Yeah, okay, I remember. All the wow, lights. this place seems off. large. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Hello. Oh, so, yeah. Wow. So right there. Oh. It's just dependent on what lights you want shut off. <laughs> Well, we thought the main theater should be shut off. I, I don't know oh, the lobby. Uh, Courtney, know. you're chopping up on us. Did you just shut off the internet? There no. we go. It was probably okay. because I was being touched. What? <laughs> touched by who? Oh my God. <laughs> you people are sick. Oh. This yeah. is excellent. Way to go, Courtney. I love this. Yeah. You're brave, girl. You're brave. You got it. You got this. Okay. Well, here Courtney. I am. Hello, everyone. Richard Lell, go ahead. Courtney. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, I, I refrained from the pre-show from telling you, um, there is a gentleman who sits at the far right side of the stage. So if, stage left, but he sits he sits at the far right, about two rows back. Okay. At the table, because the chairs seem to be a bit dis. Hold there's on. A, there, there's a at the, there's a chair, and it, it's it, it's he sits about two chairs in, and he oh. is he he's an intriguing fella. All right, well let's. Uh... I'm Ooh, listening, my Richard. Eyes, my eyes are watering because I'm like, I feel like that is totally accurate. I I have I do have a question. Patty? There's somebody in the chat room, Paul says, lights on or off. There should be a ghost light ghost on light. the stage. Yes. I'm a theater baby too. There you know what? A ghost light Patty, I've always thought that, and I don't know why I've never brought it up because I agree with you. There should always be a ghost light on. And I I don't know why I have never even said anything, but you're totally correct. You I are. Really don't know. A ghost light is a single pole yes. uh, mm -hmm. tripod with a, a single light bulb, just so you don't trip over anything uh, after all the stage lights are turned off. But that doesn't seem to exist in this theater. And oh. Courtney, where are you a stage right at the moment? Where are you? Um, stage, stage left. left. I'm on the. If I'm looking at the stage, I'm on the right side of the stage. Good. That's where. He, that's where he is. He, sits, look, just, he sits about two or three seats in, and yeah. he he is. Um, show me the stage. Can you show me the stage? I put a ghost light on the stage. Okay. Well, that's that's like there. Look at you. Very good. So there's seat here, 
That's first seat. And then right next to me, second seat. Okay. Courtney, yeah. I want you to sing Hello My Baby. Oh my God. You know that song, right? Yes. I know the first like two lines of it. That's exactly hello, what we need. Hello, my honey. Hello, yeah. my honey. Hello. <laughs> I like the jazz hands too. Do it again, do it again, <laughs> really loud. I told you I was a theater kid. You did, you did. Go for it. This is over, I just did it. Again? Oh my God, look at your meter. Oh, look at it go. Hard. Do it again, do it again. Do it again. Hello, my baby, hello, my honey, hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. If That's you all I know. lose me, honey, you lose me, and you, I'll be left alone. No, oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Richard Lill, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Come Yay! Yes, Richard, get it. I don't of think course, I like only know that song from the frog of the uh, hey. Warner Brothers cartoon. I mean, don't. it's older than that. It's a, it, that's an old, old song. I don't sure exactly. What's really funny, Courtney, is I was in there, I want to say, uh, around February break. Um, we were painting the theater. We had just painted that black. Yep. And I was rehearsing for something. And I had I was just singing. Uh, I, I think I was singing, like, what's that song from? Making my way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> that song. And they love that song because the lights go crazy. And I've sung that song about three times rehearsing in there for a show I was doing and the lights, they love that song. Wow. Okay, I don't know so, that song. Courtney, do you know it? Oh, I, no, while Nikos was talking, yep. my whole connection froze <gasps> and I could not hear anything. <gasps> You're Except kidding. What is happening behind me? They, I will say they're very active when I'm in there. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if they like me or if they just like the music. I would say they like you. It seems like they hear your voice and they're like, oh, hey, yeah. here I am. Uh, here I am. Yeah, they, lo they love Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> what, oh, what song? So that song that I'm uh, making my way downtown, oh, walking I fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Give it a sing. Can you sing it for us? Um, yeah, hold on. I have to think back to like. Sing the chorus. If I could fall into, into the sky, yep. think time would pass me by. Oh, I know I walk a thousand miles <laughs> just see. Yeah. yeah. What was that sound? <laughs> it was what a was phone. Sound? It the was air so just funny. Yeah. What? Yeah. On the stage. Yeah, I heard that. It came through my speakers. Was that? So it's on now. <laughs> like the air just kicked on. But I checked before I came over here because there's a thermostat on the wall. Yeah. And at 64, the whole time I've been in here, and it was at 64 when I came over here, but somehow the air came on to make it 64. And that, that's never happened to me in there. So that's wacky. And it's like only on the stage. <gasps> what? Yeah, no, I think that's the, that's rhythmic. Can you hear it? No. Like clicking? Yes, I yeah. heard it just now. I think that's, that's the air. Is that you? Is anybody else clicking online right now? No, it's here, it's here. It's, it's on the stage. I heard it that's so quietly wild. through my speakers. It's over. Okay, you can't barely see it, but it's over here. I think it's it's like coming from over there. I think it's the air vent. Courtney, you know what you should do? What? Go, you should sit on the stage, like sit center or like off center. All right, hold on. Be the ghost light, Courtney. Be yeah. the ghost light. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will say, I probably have another like 10 minutes with you guys because I do have to go back to work. Oh, sorry, but, Nikos. We didn't that's realize. okay. But, I, oh no, what happened? I just came up here. I very gently walked up on the stage and from backstage, I heard two footsteps. Yeah. That's Say what hello. I, that's so, excellent. Say hello. Hi, hello. They are, fr he's friendly. 
Look at your meter go. Yeah. Oh, oh my Courtney. god. Ooh. Courtney, invite him closer to you. Say, hey, come, come on, on closer, guys. Come on. Come on stage with me. I can share. <gasps> they like to they love music. They Look love at music. <laughs> how about just do how, do um row 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 your boat? Courtney, what is it? Did Are you, you did you hear those footsteps? I guess. Yes, from right behind me. Yeah, I heard the footsteps. They came to my speaker too. So actually, Courtney, <laughs> so there's a little boy too. Um he is very active. He um I will be on in the theater and he's very playful and he makes a lot of noise. Like he laughs, he sings. Um and he, I saw him. I was actually with a client I was teaching in the theater and we both saw him. He was sitting on the couch in the lobby and he likes to play. I know that's, see, that's wild. And so Tabitha who won the t-shirt just said they want more show tunes. Yeah, they, lo they really, he loves music. When I'm in there rehearsing, Courtney, they love it. Lay it on us. I know Beetlejuice the musical, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, give it a go. Very good. I was, I was rehearsing Perfect. that with some, one of my students. Here's the, uh, the, the key song. There's swear words in that. Well, also, do we have, is come it? Come through it the copyright? swear words. Right. Copyrights. 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 We don't want to get sued. Okay. Hum it. Public domain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did anybody see? Sorry, not to freak you out, but did anybody just see that, like behind the meter? Yes, I did. It was a did you see that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it was be it, it was deeper than the ambient light that we're yeah. seeing. Did I okay. Oh, I don't mean to freak anyone out except me who's standing one field of wow. Who, whoever it is is loves coming closer to you. You can just you can tell. You can just I'm tell telling him. you, that's the little boy. I forget well, his place. I forget his name. Lorna, if you're watching, can you comment? Uh, Charles just said uh, somebody was named Charles. Would it be Charles? No, I I can't remember his name. I was just talking to Lorna about him today too. Um, if she's watching, she'll comment. And if okay. you say his name, he'll be active. He's very curious. Okay. Okay. So oh, Lorna, I know it. Right. Yes, you're allowed to say his name. Please. Yes, Lorna. Andrew. I'm it's Andrew. Andrew, yes. I brought my cat toys. Yes, drop them. But I want everyone to know who watched last week. I tested all of these prior to the show starting and they all worked. So they're all batteries are charged. Everything's fine. Okay. So drop them on the floor on the stage. And we're looking for a small boy named Andrew. Also Courtney, the are you up? Are you up against the wall, or are you? Do you have free air stage. behind it? Because it looks like I'm not sure if it's if if it's a shadow in the ambient light caused by the ghost light, or there is something that's just kind of like over your would be your left shoulder. Yeah, that that light. Yeah, square. do you feel like a? Do you feel like a a static? Some kind yeah, of like or, a or is that a, no, I think that's a, a lens flare from the stage. No, no, line. but no, no. I see that. That's that, that's not what I'm uh, picking up. It feels like it's almost like static behind her. There's yeah. open space. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's start from uh... Andrew. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, that's his name, Andrew. Right. Do you want to come play with me? Oh gosh. I brought you some toys we could play with. If you touch them, they light up. Sing a royalty-free show to from Broadway. Patty cake. Do patty cake. Patty cake, patty cake, a patty cake, a baker's man. Baking me a cake as fast as I can. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with an A. And put it in the oven for Andrew and me. Yay! How old is he? I feel like I just insulted him. <laughs> no, I, I, want to, I want to think he's about nine years old. I'm impressed that you knew all the lyrics for that. I didn't know I never anything heard, after the cake. I never heard the bake it and pat it part. Neither have oh, I. Neither. I was really impressed. Yeah, very impressive. I don't 
I work in a school, guys. I know all of those. Yeah. Yeah, I will nice. say, I do have to bow out now, guys. Um, well, thank you, Nikos, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Good, good to meet to you, Nikos. So, hey, good luck. He's thank you so much. He's friendly. We appreciate Bye, you being guys. here. Thank Take you. care. Thank Bye -bye. you. Patty, you yes. had uh, uh, something uh, to say about this song. What uh, where were you? About no, no, no. I just went when the song that was, was I, all I've ever heard was the patty cake, patty cake makers man, make me a cake as fast as you can. I didn't know the rolling it and the padding it, and and I just learned something every day of my life. I have a new children's song, it's spectacular. Oh, yeah. Um, Courtney, I feel somebody squishing up behind you a little bit. Are you feeling something like close to the ground? Probably. I mean, I just heard from far away. Uh, like a stump and it sounded like one of the lights clicked on but nothing did this feels very low does has the theater have people seen like little ghost cats and ghost dogs in there before i don't know I, if anybody knows because that's what it feels like it's low it's crawling but it doesn't feel like a person crawling up behind you it just feels you know patty. you know patty you know, Patty Courtney, it almost feels like one of what we used to call creepers, something that was very, very low to the ground, really didn't have any like legs on it. It but it but it was like like fluffy, but a caterpillar type type yeah, creature. That's what it and, feels like. Yeah, and it, it kind of just real low to the ground. Sometimes you'll you'll see them do figure eights, but that that's that it's it feels like it's right behind her. Yeah, completely oh. right behind you. I, I'm just gonna let you know I'm never gonna forgive either one of you for saying any of a fluffy, <laughs> little, <laughs> fluffy little creeper, a fluffy little creeper, Courtney. Yeah, I mean, uh, a creeper seems very uh, disconcerting. Yeah. Uh, because of its name, but if it's just small and rolls on the ground. I mean, it sounds cute. And if I heard about it when I was, I don't know, sitting somewhere not here alone and like in the light i would be like oh that sounds like something i'd love to have as a pet Except right i'm sitting here alone in the dark it reminds you of scooby-doo and creeper <laughs> creeper okay i don't know enough about scooby-doo to bring oh, no, the no, reference no. <gasps> what i just saw a head pop up where? awesome awesome come here where it's Andrew. <gasps> Did you hear it? No. Okay, hold on. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a door back there. I see it. And I saw a little head pop up. And then I heard like a a step or like a chair or something like right next to it when I called out to it. Was it Andrew? Maybe it was short. Tabba is Tabitha is feeling another child, maybe named Casey. Maybe they're playing. They have siblings. Well, there's, 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 there are layers of history here, actually. Okay. Um, so this was, this was, there was a barn here. There's a house next door that was built in the 1870s. Mm -hmm. um, there was a barn right back where the theater is. And then in, uh, there, there was the building that was built, uh, 1906, I think. Anyway, um, it, it was stables. And there was what I had told from the beginning, Christine. Um, I felt that there was a young man that could not breathe and i don't know it, it, he it felt like it was more the stable than it was about um than it was about anything out like a theater or a bowling alley or any of that um i think i think this young man is there because that's i don't think he died there but he, he was saying he couldn't breathe i don't know if it was something with the neck i don't know but he just said he couldn't breathe he couldn't breathe he couldn't breathe oh oh so it's asphyxiation. So some sort of uh, contraction of either the lungs or the throat or the loss of oxygen. Right. Interesting. Okay. So Courtney, mm -hmm. uh, 
in the direction you saw the head and or uh heard the noise what uh what is it is it a child is it andrew or casey uh, maybe do you guys hear these noises that are happening literally all around me yes no it's like step over there step right over there while you were talking step right over there I heard those. I assume they were my, uh, clicks from uh, somebody's feed. No, they're around me. How many asking spirits are there? How many spirits are with us? I'm sensing, we need to get you some dowsing rods, Courtney. I'm <laughs> sensing three. I just it's, heard like a shuffling. Well, I'm hearing things from three different directions right now. Which well, directions? Three spirits. This way, this way, and this way. Almost surrounding you. That's yeah. excellent. And then the, the wall is here. So it's like there's not... It's it's all out away from me. And are they coming towards you or what? I, it almost feels like they're just like kind of checking me out. Okay. Maybe I should do like a, a little introduction. Sure. Yes. Oh, I swear to God, I thought I just saw somebody walk. Where? Over here. I don't know if you guys. Let me see. Hold on. Those are my sneakers squeaking. Don't get excited. Okay. Um, back here is this whole wall is a mirror. And so I'm not being reflected in the mirror or my lights or anything like that because I'm off to the side. But that light that you see, that square light, is the reflection of the doors. Okay. And so I saw, I, I, I like, it was out of the corner of my eye, but in the mirror, like here, like someone was walking. Oh my gosh. That's so that's a, a full length mirror on the wall and that doorway is reflecting that. Uh, yeah, lighted space to the right. Yep, and then that that right there is also a mirror. Okay. I, I I'm gonna introduce myself. Yes, please. All right. <clears throat> For anyone that may be here with me, my name is Courtney. It's like quiet, quiet now. My name is Courtney. I'm just here to talk to you and listen to you and hear your story, watch your performance. I'm not here to disturb you or upset you. I'm a safe person, we're all safe people and we're here to hear you. If you're here with us, can you come closer to me? Join me on stage. You can touch any of my things over here. They sense your presence. What was that? I don't know. I heard that. It was so loud. It was loud. It, it was a... Did anyone else hear that through their speakers? We were on the... I heard that. I heard know. that. Oh, that's great, Courtney. And, Courtney, and, why don't you, Courtney, get close to it. Can you get close to it? Would... Hold on. I'm shaking. I would love. I'm shaking. Don't <laughs> um, yes, people are hearing Haley saying they're circling you to protect you. That's what they do right. for in the building. Why don't you be there and audition? Like, hi, I'm Courtney, and I'm auditioning for the part of. I know a monologue. I don't know if it's copyrighted, but I know. Uh, Is it Shakespearean? Do an original, do an original no. monologue. Into the woods. Nope. Do an original one. Original, original one. Original yeah. one. Yes. Do a soliloquy or 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 it's a haunted. Just just speak. Just say, um, "Hello, my name is Courtney, and I'm auditioning for a role in Hand It to Me," and <laughs> I, I'm. <laughs> the role of, of Judy, Judy. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm I'm auditioning for the role of Judy. Fantastic. And I'm the monologue. 
I'm, I'm, yeah, auditioning for the role of Judy in a play called Hand It To Me. <laughs> and so now you know what the monologue is. This is the emotional diatribe of Judy uh, at the third act of Hand It To Me. Go ahead, Courtney. She's getting redder I by the minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very dramatic play. Okay, let me a love story, too. Yeah. Well, I don't believe in love, so I can't do that. <laughs> right. That's a perfect place to start from. All right. Let me, let me get into character here. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Hello. My name is Courtney. I will be auditioning for the role of Judy in the from the hit show Hand It To Me. One day, I was walking down the street, and my sister said to me, you know, why don't you, why don't you go get your hair cut today? And I said, what do I need my hair cut for? I'm beautiful as it is. And she said, well, it's looking a little crazy, so you might want to go, you know, get it fixed so you can meet a man. And I said, what do I need a man for? I don't believe in love. Thank you. Next. She read both parts in the stage direction. <laughs> Courtney, what, what happened? What happened when? Well, you stopped. She was acting. I was acting and I was done. Oh, I thought something actually you heard I tell from. you what, Courtney, Miss Courtney, here's what here's what always gets them. Remember what you're not supposed to say in the theater? No. And <sighs> First of all, yes. No, no, no. Listen, no. no. Every, no. hold on. Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a critic, right? We, I'm sitting here alone in the dark. I heard a loud noise, and you want me to come up with a monologue off the top of my head? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's do. Macbeth. And you judge me? No, oh. no, we're not doing the Scottish play. The, Scot the Scottish something. play. I'm wondering if the Scottish play might stir some things up. No, I would double, take it. double toil and trouble. No, Richard Lell. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Courtney. I am Come not. On. Come on. Courtney, I'll, I'll give you a dollar, Courtney. And you know, nice. For those who don't know, there's a play that Shakespeare wrote that is historically uh, bad luck in theater. That if you mention the name of that play, Macbeth. Uh, Doom. <laughs> Macbeth. You're Macbeth. not. You're <laughs> Uh, you bring upon uh, doom and danger and what? Are you okay? I just heard someone go, hmm. <gasps> because they want you to say Macbeth. They no, they don't. It was a very disapproving hmm, and I'm not going to do it. Hmm. Do you know mm. any Mac 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 uh, monologues from that play? No, I don't. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. No, uh, I know. I know some lines from Romeo and Juliet. Fine, mm. do that one. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? That's all. I, well, <laughs> something about a rose. I'm so scared. Okay, okay. Here, I'll do. I'll do Macbeth. How about that? No. Yes. Yeah, you're safe in New Orleans, there, Richard. Yeah, I mean, I you know where I am, right? Hold up your meter, Miss Courtney. I'm gonna I'm gonna read the, the monologue. I um, I agree. I want to see. I want. I would love to see what the reaction is. Yeah. I have to. I have to. I have to agree because of the Let's fact that sometimes, sometimes, in order to go and elicit any kind of a response, we have to push the envelope a little bit. So Wait. for me, I would if I was there, Courtney, you would. I would be doing almost the, I would be repeating the entire play if I just to get some kind of reaction. Uh, let me see. Hey, now, you guys, before you go, I do have to leave, but oh, Tim, hey. Tim, can I make you in charge of keeping the lights off for Courtney if she goes into another? <laughs> yes, room? yes, yes, Patty, I will do that for you. I will make sure that every time she goes into a lit room, I will comment. Please turn off the lights. Thank you so very much. I love you all. I miss you already. I love you. You're doing great, Courtney. And don't say the name of the play. Thank you. <laughs> Nick Beth, Come on, Nick spoil, Beth. spoil. Nick Beth. Thank you, Patty. Bye. Thank what you. Was it? Was it Mac 
We'll Macbeth. see you next time. It's Macbeth. It's Macbeth. Let it's me not McDonald's. Find, it's Macbeth. Let me find. I'm trying to find. Um, I don't. I don't know it by heart. So here. Here. Oh wait. Are you ready? Put up your yeah. meter, Courtney. Put oh, I can't meter. wait. I can't wait. Put up your meter. It's here. Okay. Macbeth. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble. Something wicked this way comes. Eye of newt and toe of frog. Wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind, blind worm's sting. Lizard's leg and owlet's ring. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble. Something wicked this way comes. In the cauldron boil and bake. Fillet of tenny snake, scale of dragon, tooth of wolf. Which is mummy, maw and gulf. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Rachel Lell, ladies and gentlemen, holy smokes. Spectacular. Uh, of course, that oh. is the uh, witches, the three witches that Macbeth first comes upon. Uh, but somebody saw an orb on your shoulder. They like it, Courtney. I think it's your turn. It feels like everybody left. I'm not, I'm alone in here now. They all ran oh. away. They want you to say it. I'm not saying it. What are you going to say? Uh, you guys didn't like my monologue, so I don't know. I loved your monologue. That was very inspirational. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I move off the stage. Move off the stage. Watch the show. Yeah, let's go to the wings. Let's, uh, oh. yes. Well, I wonder if I move, if I move all these things to like center stage and then I go sit in the audience. No, let's, let's hit the wings because there's apparently a lot of paranormal activity over there. Uh, uh, based on what uh, Nikos and other people have experienced. And so uh, while we head over there, let's see uh, what Richard Lell has painted thus far. Look at Richard Lell. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Excellent. What have you got here? So we have, I don't really know what the theater looks like. Um, I, I I only, I, I, there are arches. That's all I, know. I, I don't know what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm painting the theater and the little house, which is the old house, which was ne is next door. Um, it was the old house was built in the 1870s, I believe. Okay. So that's what I'm what I'm doing. This, but what you're painting right now is the theater and the old house next door. Yeah, even though the house is a little bit further back, but you know, there's there's no accountant for for uh, for showbiz or whatever. <laughs> I know. see. It's it's artistic license, so to speak. I like it. I like also your uh, sky seems to be uh, at sunset. Um, well, I like that color. Looks very great. It does. It's very impressive, actually. I did that on purple. I think it's marvelous. <laughs> Why exactly. do you think of those plums? I hope they don't make you puce. <laughs> How many colored puns do you have? I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, Courtney, I we're love back that. With I you. absolutely Where love Where are you that. now, Courtney? Uh, we lost your audio, actually. Uh, audio, we can't hear you. Did you mute yourself? No. And now you turn off there your you little go. light. It's because um, video killed the radio star. It's because I dropped things and I was muted. Um, okay, so I am backstage and I got up. I put the cat toys in my pocket i stood up they all fell out of my pocket made really loud noises i was very scared and then i was walking off the stage and i heard someone walking behind me no yes yeah. awesome no not I awesome. down the stairs 
Oh, that's great, Courtney. That's great. You're getting you're getting some good interaction. I love this. Who's behind you? What? I don't know. Is there anyone there? You can come closer. Is it Andrew? Ooh, you're getting a couple. You got a hit there. You got a couple hits. Wow. Nice Starting job. to get some hits. Nice. Say hello. To Andrew. my little friend. Andrew, is that you? Or Charles? Wales, scare you. And so I'm confused. You're backstage right now? Yeah. That, right those behind stairs, where you were. That Those stairs go to the stage. Okay. And so this is the, uh, give us a hint of how big the space is. Um, oh. I mean, I'm on one side of it right now. Courtney, that, yeah. There is a woman with you. And this woman is much more recent than. I agree. I agree. Okay. She's, when I look at her, it's really hard to date to date where what she she is between the eighties and the nineties. I don't know exactly. Okay. Um, and she she she's <gasps> she's she's most what? No, that was good. But something just touched me, and I dropped my camera. Who said hello? It, it's it, I think it's her. Okay. That's great, Courtney. That's great. I this, love the interaction. This is what this is what it's all about, man. This is all what it's all about. Easy to say this, when you're not there, Tim. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've been in her spot a couple times. <laughs> I believe you have, so I'll take it back. I'm sorry. Oh, Dean, someday you and I will be doing a a a dual solo. That's oh all we're God. gonna. All I'm gonna say, and I'm just gonna leave you in a room and with a recorder, and then I'm gonna say, "I'll see you in an hour." <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, so Courtney, back to you. Well, Richard Lowe was talking about the woman. Yeah. I was touched in here earlier when I came in to turn the lights off. Also. Yeah. And it's just a gentle, like, like one of those, like, oh, excuse me, like on my back. Okay. I agree 100% with Richard Lowe. I really do because there does feel like there's a feminine energy in that area, in that presence. Haley says it's not feminine, it's a thing. No. It feels it, it feels it it feels intelligent. If it's that's that's the that's kind of the, the border on there. It's not residual it's not or gender specific then it would be a thing. It feels feminine and it feels intelligent. Okay. Almost what, an energetic personality. What should Courtney say? I think Court. I think Courtney should just go and say, "Come back. We have to talk more about the theater. What's going on? What's what? What's going on with this play? I think. I think there's some interaction. I think. I believe that she she had something to do with the actual direction of the play. It's maybe she. Okay. Maybe Courtney needs to have a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of direction. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm here and I'm listening. Can you tell me how I did? Do you have any suggestions wow. what I can do differently? Put out your cat balls, see if that does a thing. We just saw your meter spike when you said the last sentence. Well, I just felt a tug on my arm. A what? Tug on my arm. Excellent. <laughs> is it excellent, Tim? I'm sorry, it is, because for me, there is nothing better than having a touch or a push, even a scratch, because these are these are things that we know there's nobody there except Courtney. And to have that touch, 
That means it's intelligent. That means it is attracted to her. It means that it wants to communicate in some way. That's what's so great about that. I get excited over that. That's what I crave when I'm out on these, you know, these investigations. That's terrifying, though. It's so cold over here. Um, <clears throat> can you sit with me and give me some help? I'm not sure what I could do differently next time. Let me meet her go. If you liked the performance that I gave, can you touch one of these and make it light up? Oof. Courtney, what's the atmosphere in that room feel like? Is it is it like does does it feel like it's a little heavier or is it maybe staticky? Because what I, and what I'm getting, and I'm just gonna just throw it out there, I feel it's a lot finer than in the in the auditorium area itself. It feels like it's a lot finer. It feels as if it's something that's there. It's just almost uplifting it, but it has a strong presence. It. I feel like there's less energy in here in the sense or like less different kinds of energy in here like i feel the one energy in here but well, how's it, that one energy does it feel as if it is like a dominant energy energy where it really is like the energy because that's i'm picking up something that's strong in that area yeah it's it's almost like the reason why she's the only one oh there we go we're hitting it we we're starting to get we're starting to get some pulsation on the uh, k2 it feels like this is her space Who's her? Whoever this is. And the other energies have to stay. <gasps> oh. What? I just saw movement. Excellent. Um, it's like the other energies have to stay. Like they don't want to come into her space. Is that right? I respect you very much and I respect your opinion. If you didn't like my performance and you want to give me some feedback, I am all ears. Can you let us know by coming closer to this and lighting it up or touching one of these and lighting it up or making a sound that we all can hear? It's trying. It's trying. Oh my gosh. It's trying. I love that. So Tevin says that somebody's trying to sing, uh, don't stand so close to me by the police. Are you standing too close to someone? Maybe. Should I sit over here? Perhaps. Now do you feel comfortable going closer to my meter, my, my lights over there, lighting it up? I'm sorry if I was in your space. I didn't mean to snort. I'm just terrified. <laughs> it was the first time, first time I breathed in like 30 minutes. I apologize. I'm sorry. Do you so have any? It's trying. It's trying. It's, nice. it's, it's, is there it's, another it's, area backstage? Is this the only backstage area? Yep. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. If you want, you can take some of my energy and use it. Oh, the, I don't know if you can see this, but the, the whole K2 meter is going dim. Going dim? What do you mean? The Ooh, lights are lit up, but the lights are dimming. Is it like a battery drain? Yeah. Oh, it's oh. excellent. That's all. That's it's trying. It's trying to pull some pull some of that energy out of the battery. So long as the battery is it's on. See, oh yeah, you can see it. So Haley says this is not a human spirit. 
it's awful, but I can see it. So this isn't, this is another en entity, not human. It doesn't, it doesn't feel inhuman. I feel that like commanding, like matronly, like house mother kind of presence. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, look at it. Yes. Oh, really? What is that? I think it's trying to answer you, Courtney, on that one. Was that right? Is yeah, that I think so. I think it was trying to answer you. That's great. Ugh. I don't know. I'm creeped out by this. I'm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like, she feels like the kind of person that I would say yes, ma'am, to. Yes, ma'am. Right. Oh. Like an entity larger than... I feel like I don't know. I, I it's like I see like hair up in a bun. Very like put together. So Nancy Ellis Briggs bought this property in uh, 1875. Maybe it's Nancy uh, as a matriarch uh con controlling the space say is this you nancy nancy is this you <gasps> oh yes oh that great response hi nancy my name is courtney thank you for letting me into your space oh The air turned on again. No. Yeah. Is it cold? Oh, I mean, is it hot I'm there? Freezing in this room. Why did the AC go on? This happened last <laughs> week for mine. Oh my God, look it. Holy. Oh, it's cold in here. Oh my <clears throat> Nancy, is it okay that I'm in here with you? <gasps> nice. Wow. Great response. Is she happier there, though? Nancy, are you happy that I'm here? No. Oh. Nancy, do you want me to leave? And Nancy's husband, Otis Briggs, owned the stables that were behind this property. Ask about Otis. Nancy, is Otis here? Can we talk to Otis? <gasps> oh, my God. <gasps> Okay, both Haley and Tabitha online said, uh, covered in goo, they're, they've already touched you in the back and you might have ectoplasmic goo on you. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> might need to get paid. At, paid. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry to break it too. <laughs> As my goo is in my job description, so I well, I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh dear. Uh look at dear. this. Can I when we we're talking about stables, were they like, like horse stables, right? Yeah, right. yeah. And you're in the back by, by the theater. So they, take, like take I used to work here on a I used to work on a horse farm. Oh, you did? Yeah, so I know horses. Oh. I did like, not know this, Courtney. Oh, what did you do in the stables? What were the stables for? Uh, I I assume they're around back. Well, uh, like, sell, did they sell horses? Well, they were breeding them, but Otis and Briggs had six children. Charles, Al Alton, Isabel, Fred, Archie, and Helena. 
Helena, I guess. Uh, mention one of their names. Oh. Ooh, we're getting some more. That's excellent. <laughs> Who did the horse sound? <laughs> Mel? Stop it. Stop That's pulling up audio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Oh my I gosh. I love that. That's terrible. Otis, can I talk to you about buying a horse? I'm in the market. Oh, I don't know how big your horses are, but I am looking for one that is like 14 and a half hands tall. Preferably a gelding. Or one that will grow into 14 and a half hands tall. Saddle broke. You got anything for me? Make it loud. Give us a little warning when you put these sound effects in for crying out loud. <laughs> They're terrifying me. And I'm not even in that theater crying out loud. Oh my gosh. Rachel, uh, what did I say? Warning, please. <laughs> oh, look, they love it. I, know I think they do. I think they love it. I think it's a great response. However, <laughs> I'm terrified here. Well, I'm a stable genius. <laughs> here's the thing. Here's here's the actual thing, okay? Like, I was scared. Oh, my God, look at it. I was scared when I was in the wide open space of the theater because it was dark and I was afraid. But, like, this energy feels so good. Like, I'm, like, sitting here smiling watching this. Like, I'm so proud oh, of it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Look at it. That's awesome. That's great. So you have you might you might have come up uh, come across the correct trigger right in order to go and get that two way communication. I love that. That's fantastic. The sound effects I think also really what trigger it too. I think that's great. I also think we should actually stop and uh, tip our hat to Richard Lill for shouting out, I'm a stable genius. The, the pun level yeah. on that uh, was like multi-leveled. I don't think anybody <laughs> appreciated that joke as much. Oh, no, I no, no, I, I caught it. It was, well, it's I'm genius. It's sure genius. That the most brilliant thing out of Richard Lill's mouth in the last three years. Congratulations, Richard Lill. Oh, well, like I said, I, you know, I'm a stable genius, so I deserve it. I'm the best of everything. Oh, oh I, I, I have my words escape me on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so Otis Briggs' most winning horse was named Baby Lambert. Can you, Otis? Can you tell me about Baby Lambert? That's a picture of him there. <gasps> Look wow. at that. I love that. Yes. This is great. So are we, is this theater upon the stable of baby Lambert's? <gasps> Otis, was baby Lambert your favorite horse? Oh my God. Look at that. No, I heard a, a footstep in the room with me. Courtney, is the AC on there? Because people are seeing that f uh, a flag up in the left corner moving. No, it's You're, off. It's off. And I saw that move a bit too. So is it my, because my hand is on, is it this? Because my hand is on my tripod and my arm is on the table. No, I saw it go side to side actually. Oh, well, that's. So, uh, oh so, my God, what? my, my power is already, my power on my phone is already down. Oh no. 
yeah, it's, I have to. It, my... It's draining. Yeah, it's draining. Drain, that's drain, excellent. Drain, draining the energy. That, that's a good. That's a good sign. Not a good sign because we need her to have her phone. Oh, I have a I have a battery pack, but it's just oh, okay. it usually lasts longer than this. By okay. Like well, why don't we move to the next base? Do you want to try the basement? Even though oh yeah, I would yeah, I think that would be great. Cool. <laughs> so Tim's in, Dean's in. Um, Richard yes, Bell, are you absolutely. in? Time for the basement. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Right. Well, the most terrifying part. All, all I know is next time I do something solo, I want you guys to be on the other side directing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's all, it's all fun and games until you own Yeah, I know. Until you're terrified and scared and alone, hence the name of the show. Well, It's all uh, fun and games until somebody loses an eye, and then it's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> true. Richie Lell, let's see your painting. How are you doing here? I will let you see my painting, but I, I feel like now that I'm looking at it, I need these trees to be a little bit darker. I, the trees I, to be darker? The trees what? in the front need to be darker. And now I don't know what I did with my brush. I think the ghost took it. Here's your past work that we're seeing right now. That is true. fantastic. I love the old white church. I believe these have all been sold, but these are virtually framed. And all of those are sold, yes. It's spectacular. And... Uh, all of them impressive oh, but there are some other ones that have not been sold and, oh um i i have them they're here i don't know i don't remember which ones because i took them over to storage uh but there are some that have not been sold fantastic where would we find those that have not been sold um you know what they should be on instagram but they're probably not right now uh <laughs> but you can message me directly and I will tell you what I have. Okay, spectacular. We I think those. I at, think uh, I think those paintings would be perfect for anybody that had any kind of uh, a collection, or you know, such as such as what I have. You know, and, and I really think that they would be perfect. And people, anybody that would is interested in the paranormal field, these are not just any paintings. These are of really historic paranormal locations and i think mm -hmm. that i know anybody that all my friends we'd be proud to have those hanging on our walls for those who don't know uh richard lill actually is not seeing these locations so he's painting this uh as a gentleman psychic uh basically uh, uh feeling the location that we're talking about that so it's very impressive. Thank you so very much. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Courtney, you seem now to be in the basement. Yeah. Uh, but Courtney, it's too light down there. I think maybe uh, in Tim, the great words of Patty, maybe we should like go dark here. Wait. Here, here's the problem. What? It is busy down here. I don't think that it's entirely safe to turn the lights off and be walking around. There's but, a lot of props there. These are theater yeah. props, I take it? Right, but the further back I go, the darker it gets. Yes. So I am willing to go over here where it's dark. So there's one light bulb lighting the whole basement? There's a there's a couple further away from me, but there's one like Ellie like um oh, oh um I don't know what words are. I'm scared. Oh my god, uh, behind you, behind you. Behind me what? The grimace is behind you. Some sort of grimace. Some kind oh. of grimace is behind you. Paula what? said. What? No, oh, the feathers. Feather boas. She means the purple Christmas tree. Oh, thank oh. you. It's like grimace from. Oh, oh, McDonald's. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. I, I please lost. don't. Please don't do that to me again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified myself. I didn't know what was going to say. I um, really feel like I'm not going to forgive any of you. <laughs> Okay. So this, the energy down here, I I feel scared again because I'm alone. Yeah. Um, and it's just very busy and it feels like, like there's just so much down here as far as like theater props go, which is wonderful. The theater kid in me, my heart is so happy in here. Um, I would be a lot happier if there was another human. In here with <laughs> um, but yeah. So, so it all of these costumes look like they're actually uh, human form. That's a weird what? thing. 
Well, I mean, that dress on the coat hanger looks like some or, or what those feather boas, like everything looks uh, like an entity in three dimensional form. I am really upset with you that you would say things. <laughs> um, okay, well, you bring a doll with button eyes, so what the hell? I'm well, sorry. I'm gonna i'm never gonna stop now because you are being okay horrified. guess what every venue will have three-dimensional costume props they pretty much all do <laughs> why are we fighting back and forth courtney i don't know i'm scared i'm scared too <laughs> in self-defense dean i love you <laughs> I'm, here. I'm grabbing my own ribs in the uh, terror that you're feeling yeah it's a lot I know. Courtney, do you ever feel down in that area uh, like spider webs, but you're not walking through any? The reason I ask is that I've investigated uh, quite a few older, uh, ro older prop rooms, and in like some really historic, uh, historic theaters, and it always feels like there's so much residue that's left over. It's almost like ectoplasmic residue. Oh, so it feels the like. I haven't felt the spider webs thing, I, mostly because my time down here so far has been limited. But I do feel like, and this is very strange for me, but I feel like I have to be very careful. Like not here, but like my my feet are are touching the ground very gingerly, like I'm about to disturb something. Ooh, oh, that's that's, that's interesting. That's that interesting. interesting. So the energy is below, like where you're standing. It's like it's like a underneath you i it's it's all around me it's again just like the theater was felt very busy like it feels very busy down here also it's cold it's getting colder um but i don't know there's something about there's something that's making me like almost tiptoe i don't oh. know what that means like i don't want to i don't want to wake someone up <sighs> not in a like in a way like I don't know how to explain it. Like someone's napping and I don't want to disturb them. Okay. I maybe you to... should try to disturb them a little bit. Right. Wake them up and ask yeah, them. Yeah, maybe and and just say hi. You know, I'm kind of lost. What's going on here? Or even say, wait a minute. The boss sent me down here. You're supposed to be up, you're supposed to be dressing the set or whatever. Hold on. Didn't they say this was a bowling alley? Yeah, the basement was a bowling alley before. Ooh, that's right. Yeah. That's interesting. Well, you know. Uh, Richard Love, we asked you to warn us before you played the sound effect. <laughs> yeah, th that makes sense, though, because it. I, I think I can put in. Oh, what was that? Sound? Um, it almost feels like the bowling alley was so noisy. Yeah, and now it like it's almost like the energy of the building. Like the bowling alley was very noisy. Now we want to be quiet. Okay, we're quiet. I don't. I can't make sense of this. I don't know. I know I sound like I'm talking like a crazy person, but this is. How it feels in here. Behind the clothing rack, how far does that go? Oh, far. Like, that's half of the building that way and half of the building wow. that way. That's great. So that's oh. the bowling. The rest of the alley, like, technically is behind you? I'm not sure what direction, but this is the front of the building. Okay. The back of the building, underneath the theater. Okay. Why don't we go to the front of the building? Oh, sure. Sure, Dean. Away from the light. <laughs> so casually. Courtney, you can do this. Come on. You know, you know I'm rooting for you, kiddo. You can do this. Okay, but listen, because we talked about this before, how usually there's someone somewhere that if I got scared could come and rescue me. And once again, today, I'm completely locked in alone. No one's around. Oh. But that's that's Tim, when it's greatest. That's when it's right, the best. That's when you're... Tim, Tim, you're oh. in a lovely studio in New York State. I don't think. Right. 
I'm I'm allowed to be nervous about it. Oh, okay. I just got a cold breeze right here. What? Yeah. Oh, there's a fan over there? I know they had some water stuff going on. <gasps> Something's behind me. What? Something is touching me. Something is pressed up against me from behind. Oh my God, move forward. Wait, oh my gosh, I see something on my monitor. Is that? My connect, I'm losing my connection. You are losing connection. You just froze up on me, but I see a, a shape. Oh, you're standing behind her? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, do you see? I see yeah. it, yep, I see it too. Is it a dress form or is it a person? I don't know. It was just a weird shape behind you. Ask yeah. who's there. I lost my connection. You did too. We saw it. You froze up and we saw a thing behind you. I saw a thing behind you. I don't know if anybody else. Do you still see? No. No, I don't see it either. But you froze up again. But there's like, it's a lighter. I can't tell if that's you freezing up or. Do you Wait. still see it? No. No, I don't see anything. Courtney, you're you're in good shape right now. So are you walking okay. towards the darkness or towards the front? I was towards the front. I think there's a fan over there, so I think that's why it felt cold. But as I was observing that, it felt like someone like just came and stood right behind me, like pressed, like chest to back, pressed up behind me. And then uh, my connection was Oh my gosh. I That's should remind great. everyone who's watching that we uh, are, this is a live interactive paranormal investigation. You can rewind and uh, observe any of these uh, phenomena and report back to us what you see, because we are all in the Ooh. same boat at the moment. Oh, well, Lord so. has got something interesting about the uh, HVAC person has had this happen in the exact same spot. That what? is really interesting. That's really interesting. You just oh. you just walked into a repeatability. That's oh fantastic, God. Court. And Nikos, the bartender, also had that happen to him in the exact same spot. Wow. That's Michael great. just went again. Uh, and I saw me? a shape when you froze up, but... <laughs> I feel like a hand on my shoulder. Yes. Which shoulder? Closest to the camera, or farther away? The one next to where the K2 meter is. Okay. We don't see anything there. But again, behind me. Like, can you touch my hair? Whatever you do, don't touch my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Been boundaries there. are important boundaries are important not, not consenting again i love this this is great this is terrifying tim <laughs> what is great you know Dude. what oddly enough i got scared for a second when i felt the cold i think it's like i said i think it's the fan mm -hmm. but then i said i feel cold and like it was pressed up against me on my back and it was comforting like it was warm on my back Oh, well, that's rare. Not terrifying. I'm feeling like more calm as I'm standing here. Like whoever this is, like feels. This is very strange for me too because normally yeah, I'd be like running upstairs you, and trying, peeing myself. Yeah. Almost, almost, pre almost protecting you. I want. That's great. I want you to great. touch me again. Can you touch me again? You don't say that very often in the show. It, I don't know. I, think, I feel less overwhelmed over here. I think relax. I think they're only fans. Oh my what? God. <laughs> Richard, <Lick. laughs> turn your light off. <laughs> Show's over for Richard Love. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Courtney, can you go deeper into the front of the building? When I went deeper is where my connection got lost. Oh. So like this behind me is I mean it's not that far, probably like 30 feet. 
I don't know how to right. do don't look at me because I don't understand distances. So it's right there though. What is that? What is what? Well, that uh, what you're lighting up there it looks what uh, clothing. Yeah, there's more clothing right here. Okay. And then there's like a a rack right there. I Hold see. on, let me see if I. Can... Mm. Oh yeah. Can you see the law? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty deep. What a. Oh. I feel it touching my back again. No. Yes. Awesome. Like a poke in my back. Up high. Are they trying to soothe you? Because you're... That one felt more like attention, but... I see. Hello? Who is it? This is great interaction. I love when this happens. <laughs> Because you're not there, Tim. Well, you know, it's it's the way it is. Some, you know, sometimes you have to live vicariously. Sometimes you have to have boots yeah, on the I'm ground. I'm vicariously. I'm terrified of this whole show for crying out loud, and oh. you're just loving it, Dean. After you've been scratched a couple times, it's <laughs> it, it just happens. That's all. It just happens. I've never been scratched. The flies was enough. My robot vacuum. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I, Dean, I think you should uh, put those flies on eBay. I think you could definitely, I think you could definitely They're get a couple bucks. The toilet. There's no way. <laughs> the one, I didn't take the one of the thing. Uh, what are you sensing, Courtney? I feel like they, I want to find somewhere to like put my camera down so I can take my equipment out. Yeah, please do. Is there a chair nearby? No, but I have to move away towards the light. Move Don't towards the light, Courtney. <laughs> like all of Dean's flies? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The 100% I'm not doing. <laughs> if I was in your position, Courtney, the whole show would be me screaming and running in a circle. <laughs> that would be the show. <laughs> this is my official petition for ghost bait. Dean Haglin, so. <laughs> oh, please. I don't even know why I agreed to this now. <laughs> All right. While you set up, let's check in with Richard Lell and his painting. Richard Lell, what do you got going on? Oh, you lighten the trees. I did light the trees. They look like cherry blossoms now. They are cherry blossoms. Good eye. Oh, is that uh, a grow in the uh, Middleborough, Massachusetts area? I don't know. I've never been in Middleborough. <laughs> okay. Spectacular. Uh, but this uh, red brick uh, building is the theater, theoretically? Supposed to be. I don't really know what it looks like, which is a strange thing, but that's what I'm painting. I don't know how it has. I don't know, but I like the number three. So it has three bays. Fantastic. And the greenhouse beside it. The greenhouse beside it. From what I have... I have, I, what I understand is that the house was the original house. It was on the property, but it's actually next door and a little bit further back from the street. But oh, fantastic. That's what it, but well, that's what it is. I love it. Okay. Spectacular. Let's go back to Courtney. Have you found a spot? All right. So I have my meter up here. I huh? have the, the toys right there. The person I'm gonna I'm standing here just to show you. The person felt like they were probably a whole head taller than me. Okay. Because it felt like their chest was pressed into my shoulders. Oh my gosh, that close! Wow. Like I'm talking like chest to back, like literally their whole body. So, oh, I just got to chill. I know you can touch me. Can you touch any of these things that I put out? <sighs> wow. There we go. Let's build that energy. Tim, what should we ask? I think, you know, I, I think you should really go and just try to invite the spirits to get closer, to go and build the energy. Just keep building that energy until, 
Oh, look at it going then. It, 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 it's trying. It's, it's, what, it's what we want. Build that energy in order to get that. See if you can get it to pin. See if you can get it to pin. The closer it gets. Okay. You can take my energy. I can feel it flowing. Take my energy. Use my energy. Not all of it. Leave me enough to get upstairs and get out. Take some of my energy. Use it. Touch something that I put out. I know you touched me. That was great. I felt you. That was a lot of effort and it probably drained you a little bit. So take some of mine and touch one of these things that I put out or make a sound, move something. Do something to let us know that you're here with us. It's trying, it's trying. Courtney, what are you feeling right now? Because I see you, you were wringing your hands. It, it, it got colder around my wrists. Oh, there you go. What's that? Well done. Oh my gosh. Keep coming. Come closer. Come closer. Yes, that's awesome. This is You're doing so good. Can you feel a swirling around you? A gentle swirling. I, I get this overwhelming feel of, of just swirling around you. It this feels energy. Like I mean, I think that's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Look at it. Like I've been rocking back and forth in like a, like this almost. Yeah. To try to like stir it up. I hear like banging from upstairs. What's upstairs? Do you want to go back up? Not particularly. <laughs> <laughs> I, never wanna... thought I, I don't know. I was terrified of the basement. Now I love the basement. Uh. Well, let's go back up and go to the other wing. I, oh, yeah, the, that'd be great. Of the backstage. There, <laughs> that is. What? There was only, yeah. The other side of the stage is the wall. There's only one backstage area? There's studios, but okay. there's one backstage area. Oh, I thought there was two wings on either side. I thought the stage mm -hmm. was in the middle. No. Oh dear. You know, Courtney, I, I I'm wondering if they're playing with you a little bit because they're like, going and, and you're down there and you're getting some great interaction, but now they're banging upstairs. It's almost as if they want they, they want you to just like chase follow you them all. Yeah, chase you all over the place. Make you make you go and, and follow them. I wonder if Andrew's trying to play hide and seek with me. Oh, maybe. Oh good idea. Yeah. yeah great idea. Could be. It could all be. Right. Okay. Go. I'm going to close my eyes, Andrew. I'm going to count to 10. And then I'm going to come find you. Okay. While you, you go and count to oh. 10. Did you see it? Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm going to count to 10. In. You go hide. And I'll come find you. Oh my God, okay. I'm terrible. Awesome. While you're traveling, oh, you're going to close your eyes? Yeah. And count to 10. We're going to play hide and seek. Oh, I thought you were the one hiding. I no, he's Andrew. hiding. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, now I'm going to go upstairs. Okay. Wow, while you head upstairs, we'll check in with Richard Lell. Richard Lell, what is in the sky? Oh, yeah, what is that? That's fantastic. It's Nancy. That's Nancy? 
I, I'm going to call her Nancy. Wow. That is a fantastic portrait floating in the sky. Uh, this is Nancy Biggs, uh, Otis Biggs' wife. Yes. And uh, instrumental in the horse uh, uh, training uh, breeding range that they did. Yes, indeed. Wow. I love her cheekbones. Were they... I don't know. I don't. I don't. I've never. I don't know what she looked like. That is spectacular. She seems uh, austere and yet lovely. Oh, she's very lovely. Spectacular. We love that. Uh, Courtney, we're back to you. Have you uh, found Andrew? I'm having a heart attack. What do you mean? Why? What's going on? I came up the stairs. I don't know what I saw. I don't even know that I saw anything. But I came up the stairs, and when my head past like this area it was like something was right there like i don't think i even saw anything but i i went like like i flinched like there was something coming at me and now i'm, I'm like now we lost your in it's all choppy oh my god I'm so there it. might be there might be some energy that's interfering with it some kind of frequency that's there where's your k2 Okay, so like, are you sensing Andrew anywhere in this area? I think that's who it was because it was small. Oh, it was, it was low enough that it was like in my face when I got here. Okay, oh, that's great. Oh, Courtney, that's fantastic. Maybe they're trying to go and really get you to to play with them, to be interactive with them. They real now they really seem like they're coming out. You know, they they're trying to be seen, trying to be visible. I wish that I had. Oh wow. Where's your uh, cat uh, ball toys? Hold on, I'm gonna shut these gates so that they don't. Roll yeah, down. please. But um... how about shut the the lid too? No, I don't quite know how to do that, so I'm going to do that the way it is. But I'm wondering if I can, like, oh. So technically you're backstage or you're... I'm in the lobby. This is the lobby of the theater. Like, what if I roll it? Uh. Well, it seems the floor is not level at all. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Right next to me. Is the floor... <laughs> oh, my God. What? Is it coming back to you? How is that even... How plumb is that floor? What? How is it... I just rolled it in two different. I feel like. Yeah, I know. It doesn't seem to have any uh, level whatsoever. I just rolled it in two different directions. I rolled it that way and I rolled it this way. In both ways, it came back to me like a boomerang. That is weird. Do you want to play, Andrew? Can you touch that? Can you roll it to me? Are you guys seeing the meter? Yeah. Look at the jump. Oh, that's that's a good indication there. That's great. Look at that thing build. I know. Mm. Dean, what would you do if that was in your house right now? I'm very tense already. This is tense. I need a masseuse. Mm. <laughs> Who's a masseuse? <laughs> <laughs> no, a, a professional. Oh my uh, God. What? It just, I rolled it that way and it came back. Is the floor unleveled? Is it, are you? It has to be, but like, how can it be unlevel in the same direction every and time? And then K2 meter jumping. Oh my gosh. Keep Andrew, it going. That's great. 
Oh my god. Uh, Hold on. Okay. All the way back over here. Look at. Where? I had to move out of its way. Oh no. You can't see it. Hold on. It's it came all the way over here. Like oh my gosh. From over this direction. So Let me is, see if sorry. Oh my me. god. <laughs> no, that was me. That's more terrifying. <laughs> I was so concentrated, and then you do that, Courtney. Thank you. Even I, even I jumped, Dean. <laughs> even I jumped on that one. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can show you what they're doing. Hold on. Okay. Okay. See, these are wide planks. I assume they're historic, and <gasps> oh my gosh. I just heard something like that. What'd you hear? I don't know, like a, some kind of a sound. Uh, oh my God, did you hear it? Yeah, I, well, I heard that, but I'm not sure oh, if that was you. One of them might have been me because I grabbed my bag, but it's coming. there's noise that's coming from behind me. All right, let me try one more. Since we're above a bowling alley, Richard Lell, do you have those bowling sounds again? I can pull it up. <laughs> Thanks for the warning this time, sir. I, you know what? You, you, I, uh, you are the one who asked for it. I know, but I, uh, well, I was trying to prevent myself from being terrorized again. <laughs> of bowling sounds. <laughs> Four hours. Wow. Let's try a little bit more bowling ball. Let's try this one. All of them sound a little cartoonish, I must say. I don't know. I don't go bowling. <laughs> so Tabitha says he's observing. So I believe, uh, uh, Courtney, do you feel surrounded or somebody's looking? No, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like maybe he's scared. Oh. For some reason. I don't know why he would be, but. Oh, we've terrified him? Maybe. What? Uh, Andrew, can you Andrew? please come with us? You know, Courtney, the theory of the overlapping time eras may be uh, to blame because he might be in the past seeing you and thinking that you that you might be the ghost so maybe he's very very cautious about that oh like the others this is yes a... exactly that's it that's exactly what it's like oh andrew i'm sorry if i scared you i'm i'm a nice person i'm not a ghost and uh was casey the friend or Casey? No. Does anyone want to play? <gasps> little bit of a little bit of a spike. Nice little spike starting to grow. Hopefully it keeps going. 
I'm really sad and I want a friend. Can you be my friend? I do. I feel really sad all of a sudden. Not sad is not the right word. Dis disappointed is not the right word. I feel, I don't know. Uh, morose? Melancholy. Like pouting. What? Like the, hold on. Not pouting. Yeah, like this. I feel like this. And that's pouting, all right. Right. But like, <laughs> like, like, like baby, like a little baby. Oh, uh, <laughs> like that's the energy. Tabitha says, "Tell me you have a, a child too." Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Andrew, I'm a mom. I have a son. He's a little bit older than you, and his birthday is tomorrow. Oh. Do you want to wish him a happy birthday? I'm also. A teacher, a nice teacher. I teach kids your age. Who wants cake? Do you want to hold my hand? I feel like he's camera shy. Like, I feel like oh. I'd have a better chance getting something if I did this. I'll put it on like, you instead of didn't that. Look right at him. Yeah. Okay. And maybe uh, we uh, deal with Patty's suggestion and turn out the lights. Maybe. God. <laughs> I think that I think that would be a great idea. Cool, super. So think, uh, Love that for me. Hold on. <laughs> Look, I'm not suggesting it. This is Patty's go-to. Okay, hold on. I gotta find the lights in here. Oh, Dean. You guys are you guys are just so cruel to poor Courtney. We're not cruel. She <laughs> chose to do this. Uh, she she we, signed we, up for this pay grade. Is, is that what you're I, telling me? <laughs> yeah. How about how terrified I am here in Michigan and my place continually gets invaded by entities and weirdos and whatever electrical phenomena. I don't well every. We're going to pass that. That's another show. Courtney. Yeah. Uh, uh, lights are on. The lights are on. We should sing. Uh, somebody said sing happy birthday. Birthday. Maybe misses his family. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Andrew. Is it your birthday? It's a birthday? Happy birthday to you. <sighs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay. Entity or no entity, that's the creepiest thing ever. Okay, I'm going to get a complex. 
<laughs> well, you in the dark singing, you're my sunshine, and it's just like, alone. I was trying to be comforting. I feel like he's scared of me. I don't know why. I loved your singing. I loved it too, but it was terrifying. It's you know what, Dean? I have to, Dean. I have to agree with you for that. It was like every psycho movie that I've totally. ever seen. Every horror movie has exactly. <laughs> And I don't like horror movies that I've seen it. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay, right. Not scared of me because they're all scared of me and they're poo -poo okay. Why don't we end this back on stage as we go to Richard Lell and Lord. see? Uh, I'm nauseous. Anyway, Richard Lell. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's what? great. That's yeah, well, spectacular. I, I drew. I, I I attempted rather. I was I was I was distracted by Courtney's beautiful acting and, and singing. So I, I, I'm not saying it wasn't beautiful. I'm just saying it <laughs> it reminded me of a very horror movie that I've turned off uh, <laughs> in the first thirty minutes. I can't yeah. watch anyway. Why do I host this show? I don't know why. Because you didn't it. like it. You love this. You love this, no, Dean. Deep down inside, like you love this. Everybody, I hate horror and scared. I'm, I'm scared and alone. And and, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need a massage after this. Anyway, Richard Lell, show us your painting. Explain it. Um, so it I have three cherry trees that are right down front. I have uh, Ms. Nancy at the very top. At Nancy least Otis, yeah. Uh, sort of Nancy. I, I I I was distracted, and she's she's not she's not as detailed as I would have gone for. But we have. I like the floating entity above it, though. That's absolutely fantastic. Right? She's kind of fun. She she sort of rules it all. Yeah. So yeah. she's like this. Uh, um, space she's above. She's, she's like the spirit she, above it all. She is the specter that that controls the entire thing. And, you know, she, she just kind of, she wants a little bit of respect. Love it. Spectacular. Courtney, you're back center stage. Is that correct? I am. And what do you um, feel? That because that I haven't looked the way my screen is set up. I haven't been able to see you guys really. Um, but that looks very much like the woman I was feeling backstage. Oh, wow. Oh, were, That's awesome. Wow. So Nancy was uh, with you, technically? I think so. I liked what her a, great a lot. Connection. I think Nancy is with her. I think Nancy's fabulous. Great I connection. Love, that's like, she's got like queen energy. Like I, she like queen bee. I love her. Yep. Wow. And that's what you're sensing. Spectacular. That's who was backstage with me. Awesome. Well, as we end our show, uh, Richard Lell, why don't you take us through again? A cleansing breath uh, uh, exercise. Absolutely. Because I am two hours of tense right here. <laughs> two hours of tense? <laughs> I know. I'm more camp than a row of 10 tents. So we have. <laughs> no, no. I mean, tension. I, there's a lot of tension in my shoulders, is what I'm saying. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. Let us breathe Enough. together. So Courtney is still there in this alley theater and she met some horses and the horses can come and play anytime they like. Um, any, any other ones that are, if you want to come and visit, you can come and visit once in a while, but you cannot follow Courtney home. You can follow anybody else home. You can, you can follow no, me. Home. No, 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 not anybody else home. You could follow Tim. No. You could follow Dean. No, you cannot follow Dean. Stop that. <laughs> Stop that right now. But you no, seriously, Tim. no spirits can follow. We now are going to just cleanse ourselves. We're going to take three deep breaths into the nose, out to the mouth, and here we go. Oh, one. Oh, two. Oh, three. And we close the veil. No spirits are going to haunt anybody or follow anyone home. You can stay in the theater all you like. 
we love it there. You love it there. You can stay in the QA. Thank you, Richard Lill. A pleasure, as always. Uh, of course, your paintings are for sale. You can find them on your Instagram. DM him directly, Richard Lell Lillard. At the it's, Gentleman Psychic. I don't know. There's some fake ones, but you can know. You'll know which one is me. There's some, there's some fake ones. Look at oh, you. Oh, I have a lot of fake ones. There's, there's. Anyway, it's, it's, it's. Let's part not. Of yes. Ones. Let's not talk about our Estonian hackers. That. Uh, yeah. Anyway, and Tim Shaw, where can we find you? Uh, you in can the find future? me. On Wednesday nights at seven o'clock at the Black Cat Lounge, you can hang out and visit us on Facebook. You can visit us on YouTube, and you can go to www.timothytshaw.com, and you can usually catch a, an episode or two right there. Fantastic! And I think I'm going to join you at the Midwest Parafest in Toledo, Ohio. I can't uh, wait. Eleventh and twelfth. Uh, I can't wait. You know what? For a change, we may have to be even have a photograph taken of each other, and maybe even listen. You offered to buy me a beer once, but I had to leave because I had lost my voice. So that means that I may have to pull that chip in, you know? You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Might have to do Everybody it. in the Midwest area, come to Toledo, April 11th to 12th. Uh, Tim and I may be having a beer at a, a local bar near you. I, uh, I can't plan this thing out. So, and Courtney, as always, thank you so much. We are... Uh, uh, pleased and uh, enlightened by your bravery. And mm. I'm glad you didn't point out Rosary, uh, Rosie, Rosie. Oh, no, don't bring it out. I just say, I'm pleased you <laughs> didn't see this thing so much. I can't believe I you got to go find it. She's no. so pretty. No, Latina. no. Okay, you All know right. what? I'm custom making sunglasses because those button eyes. <laughs> I got to think about buttons. Oh. All right. Well, I just want to say like this location was crazy cool. It terrifying. was terrifying. It was. But the it was. here is awesome. I want to come back and watch whatever stage productions happen in this building. Because, there is a lot that happens there. Yeah. If you're, it's, uh, and again, Middleborough, Massachusetts, apparently the most uh, terrifying town. How many uh, locations have we visited on the well, show? Well, you know, Denver? it's literally right down the street, like like thirty seconds down the street from Middleborough Town Hall, which oh, is directly okay. across the street from the Mayflower Lodge. Right where the lights so went on for no reason. So the yep, the Middleborough Town Hall is where the lights went off one by one, which they weren't supposed Ooh. to do because wow. whatever. Yeah, wow. I remember that. Mayflower Lodge. Remember, that's the one where we were in like the room, the big, the big meeting room, and we did like a 30-minute investigation and nobody saw it because the whole feed went down. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But none of us knew. <laughs> none of us knew. So you can find all these shows, of course, on YouTube. And as this is a live interactive paranormal investigation, you can rewind and uh enlighten us if anything we missed. Uh, in the last two hours, please contact us and let us know uh, if we have uh, stumbled over something or you saw something that we didn't. We'd love to hear from it. Again, this is uh, Scared Alone. We are live, interactive. Uh, next Friday, I'm not sure where we are. Maybe something crazy, but we will all be back. I'm Dean Hanglin. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Richard Lell. Thank you, Tim Shaw. See you all next time, everybody. Thank you so much. Get out. Die. What? Die. Get out. Die. Die. Oh my God. Oh my and it's God. like the same okay. voice, too. It is the same voice. It is yeah. the same tone. Maybe. Oh Maybe we should get out of that room because yeah. he was lighting up and it said, get out or die. I don't know. Get out or die. Get out I or heard. die. Okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, what happened, Courtney? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There was something flying. What do you mean flying? A bat? Whoever's here and interacting with me, are you trying to bring me up to the second floor? Look at it move. Listen, I can see it on this, but it's not really doing it in person. What, I'm imagining that? I'm also hearing it.
some sort of voice. At night, when they open back up in the morning, that doll was in a different part of the store. Go red. Oh, Go red. no. It's, oh, jeez. There's the car moving around. Why is it moving by itself? People are smelling embalming fluid. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's saying you're not safe. David, how do you feel? Are you okay? No, no, I, I'm not okay. Ask them if they're ready to go to war. 